is 3D concrete printing. It's the, it's the future. No matter how you look at it, it's the future. Uh, even if you don't understand it, it's still the future. And it's uh, being widely accepted all over the world right now. 3D concrete printing, very similar to what you've seen most 3D printers do. Only we're using concrete as a medium. And layer by layer, uh, we can create a drawing on a computer and print out in concrete, eliminating the need for forming of uh, footings, forming for slabs, uh, layout for framing, framing itself, drywall, stucco, taping, all of those are eliminated by pushing print. I tell you, the contractors that come and visit us, the first thing they say is, oh my gosh, can't believe how simple it is. Mission accomplished. That's exactly what we were going for. This, this isn't the most complex IKEA project you've ever seen in your life with 17 pages of A goes to B and nuts and bolts and screws. We, we have eight screws on our entire printer. It goes together in two hours with two workers. Uh, it's made of, you know, aluminum trussing. So when contractors come here, that is something that makes them the most excited. It makes sense. I understand it. There's nothing about this that I don't feel I could take apart and put back together. Okay, what is the difference between concrete that comes from the batch plant, concrete that comes out of our printer? Uh, no, it's the same stuff. There's 50 different types of formulas, hundreds of types of more formulas. There is uh, mixes from 500 PSI to 50,000 PSI. It's all the same, whether it comes off a trowel, which is the hard way of doing it, whether we print it out of a printer and do designs that were never before possible, it's the same thing. Uh, you want specifics? Okay, specifically, it's a third the cost. It is a half a cent a cubic inch. You can print, I can print walls up, eliminate seven trades, and I can do that for a third the cost. So that's how. And as a developer, if you've ever had to manage multiple subs that don't show up when they're supposed to, and everybody was expecting the drywall guys to be there Wednesday, but because they didn't come Wednesday and they showed up Friday, now the guys after them, they can't come in that domino nightmare effect that every developer deals with right now especially in this economy, <laughs> you know exactly what we're talking about. I'm talking about taking all that, all that coordination and getting materials on site and hoping that the subs workers showed up and stuff like that, cramming it into a two day period, not three weeks, two days. Okay, how does it solve it? I eliminate the cost of building a house to walls up. I'm not talking about your trusses and we don't print porcelain toilets yet. I'm talking about the things and the trades that we do affect. Even adding the insulation in when you're done. And don't worry, we're working on flat work and we're working on printing your trusses soon. It's coming, trust me. Why is it 3D concrete printing here in America? Actually it is, and it has been. Uh, it is worldwide. They're building cities right now. Uh, our printer does basements, it does multi-story prints block walls, uh, prints homes, barbecues, waterfalls, water features, uh, on and on and on. Just go to our website, look under the uses. You'll see all the different ways this technology is being used. However, some people are slow to the party and you'll always have those that are uh, not on my watch or yeah, but what about this and what about that and everything else. Come on guys, there's a ginormous need out there right now. And this is an amazing tool. You trust me when I say you don't want to be the one that tried to stand in the way of this thing because it's phenomenal. And what it does is amazing. Because every time rents go up $100 right now, at least in Salt Lake, uh, we got 10 to 20,000 people that are being displaced. Because in lots of markets, we got hundreds of thousands of homeless on the street because we have people dying every night from cold because we're more concerned with how we're gonna tie an electrical box than we are the fact that people are dying every night. Uh, these aren't difficult challenges to get past. Uh, just have to have the right motivation and 
And sometimes what it requires is somebody walking in and saying, hey guys that work for the building department and stuff, uh, we're gonna solve this. And you can be a part of the solution and help, or we can move you out of the way and do it without you. But we are gonna solve this and we're gonna do it right now. Will 3D concrete printing solve the affordable housing crisis? Everybody that has been vetting this all around the world knows that this is the answer. And I'm talking about politicians, I'm talking about charitable organizations, basically everybody. This is the answer. And not just an answer, it is, it's just about the only answer. I mean, we've had politicians promising to do something about affordable housing for decades. Uh, centuries, you can't, because at the end of the day, I can't force a contractor to sell below trade. Uh, I don't care how powerful I am as a politician and I can't force Home Depot to sell two by fours for less than what they want to. So what can I really do? Low, I, I free property uh, from the city, no interest loans. This is a solution. And this is a solution that politicians are taking advantage of everywhere because they have an epidemic problem, because this solves it and it does it right now.